So how's the work going, Jack? Work? Fine. Good. Very good. But security ran a check on you? Well, that's what they called it, sir. Very intense gentleman, sir. Well, security's an intense profession, Jack. They get a bit trigger-happy. They thought some, um, Allenville report you wrote was subversive. I straightened them out. My God, your father's a U.S. senator. I'm sure it was all just some, um, silly miscommunication, right? I only thought that if we could somehow find a way to help save the town, we could really show we were the company that cares. Like our TV ad says, it's good PR. TV isn't real life, is it, Bob? Oh, absolutely not real life, sir, except perhaps the news. And shows like real people. <laughs> those amazing animals are very real, sir. I disagree. I think they set those animals up. I agree with you. Jack, we want Allenville to go down the tubes. Down the tubes, sir? We want to lose our investment. The uh, plant depreciation allowance nets us millions in tax refunds if that town dies. By the way, I hear Hoover's dying. What's he got? Oh, no one knows. He's being very tight-assed about the whole thing, sir. How do you think we should handle it? With this new push into Latin America, I doubt he can handle the whole division in his condition. <laughs> to be honest, couldn't have handled it while he was alive. Mm. It's not dead yet. Right, Jack? No, sir. Oh, you know what I mean, sir. In terms of company operating procedure, he's de facto dead. People are looking at me like I'm already dead. You told them, didn't you, Al? Not a word. I swear on my mother's grave. If I'm lying, my wife and kids should be tortured and killed today. I'm ready to step in when he dies. And if he doesn't die? Well, I'm confident he will, sir. What do you think, Jack? <laughs> Why don't you just kill him, sir? <laughs> no. no. 